everyone. Welcome into Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents. Me, Deborah, uh, with a lot of crochet life and stuff this week. First off, just a little disclaimer, this is being recorded on Friday instead of Saturday. Part of that is because of the life stuff. It has been a weird, weird week. Uh, most of you know I work from home. I do office work. Um, dealing with engineers and, and people who annoy me. So, um, yeah, when you work from home, the internet is of utmost importance. Yeah, ours was down from Wednesday a little around 2 o'clock until Thursday at 4. So, almost an entire day. And, uh, yeah, of course, Monday was a bank holiday here. I was actually off work Monday, just a normal off day. Uh, Tuesday, I ended up working a total of 11 hours to take off the hour for lunch because there was an overtime project that I was working on, so yay. Uh, Wednesday, went into work at 8 a.m. and had to log off. Well, I couldn't even log off at 2 because the internet was just down. I was on texting with my director and she's like, okay, don't bother driving in because it is a 45-minute drive. She said, we'll just work it out. Needless to say, it didn't get fixed until Thursday afternoon. So one, once it got fixed, I worked until 9 o'clock Thursday night. Today, Friday, I actually had off all day because I had doctor's appointments. See, I've got, I had blood work today. They vampired me and took a bunch. And I got my flu shot today. I've already had the, the COVID shots. So I am, yeah, I, I mentioned, I said, do you guys have flu vaccine? Yes. Yeah, we just got a bunch in. Do you want one? I'm like, yes, give me the vaccine to everything everything so yeah got my flu shot I get it every year it's no big deal okay but that said and done once I left there I realized I looked up at the little the doohickey when you get your oil change and they put up a little sticker now mind you I don't drive my car anymore because well I work from home I was doing like a 73 mile round trip every day now I'm lucky to do 73 miles in, in months so I realized I was actually a year overdue for my oil change and only like a thousand miles over. And I was doing like way over before three months was up before. I said, let me stop and get my oil change. Did that. Um, yeah. Then there's another complication for the week. <sighs> Our water heater busted-ish. Okay, we have a gas water heater, and if it rains really hard, um, sometimes, because it's under the house in the crawl space, because we're weird, and the pilot light will go out, and the hubby will have to go down and light the pilot light so that we have hot water again. No big deal. It's just a thing we've dealt with for 15 years. Well, it did it again, and we thought, oh, gosh, we haven't even had any real rain the last few days. What? He goes down there and discovers that the intake pipe hose thing that goes into the water heater is spewing water. He hits the cutoff on it and we actually have to go and realize that he bought the wrong part. It has the wrong fitting on it. Go get another part so we get it replaced. We're actually looking into getting a tankless water heater. But once this part gets fixed, then we won't have to take cold showers. Yeah, because that's a thing. So yes, the life stuff has been Weird. Matter of fact, recording this on a Friday and Saturday, Saturday, because I have to make up the rest of my time tomorrow from like seven to one. So then, then I'll be all caught up with my time and it doesn't count against me for missing that time because the internet went kablooey. So I'm not done with this week. I don't know about y'all, but I did have some good, good stuff going on. Okay. Um, I want to tell you about whips. Whips. I do have the hubby blanket going on. There has been a little progress. I will show more progress next week because I have so many other things and there wasn't enough progress to really show you on that one. All right. I have got, well, this is a, a faux whip at the same time. Making some more washcloths, not only for uh, Rose Lice Crochet for wings, but also uh, Karen, a yarn addict with Karen, is having a little crochet along with cotton. Uh, a yarn addict likes cotton, do you? Or yarn addict loves cotton, do you? I'll have the actual hashtag below. She's doing a crochet along. If you do like three washcloths, that's an entry. So I've got these. I did some corner to corner in that cute orange. I did a white. 
And I did a little variegated that goes with it. Yay, I think that's kind of cute. Toss that over there. Um, this is a stitch that I got from Bag of Day Crochet. This was, she called it the uh, barbed wire stitch. She showed it for blankets or something, but that's kind of cool, don't you think? Nice texture. I have made two in that orange and that's the end of that orange that I have and I've got one going in the white and I think I'm going to lose the yarn chicken with this particular white. We'll see about that. Pardon. Sorry for the jump there. I had to pick that up because I dropped it on the floor. All right. Also, I have some finished objects, y'all, besides just the washcloths. Okay. Now, uh, Krista at uh, the uh, Secret Yarnery or the Secret Yarnery, she's the one that's over at like Niobe. Um, she puts out some really cool tutorials. If you have never seen her, never checked her out, you need to do that because she's a lot of fun. And she did this fingerless glove thing. And I thought, yeah, I've got to do that. I did have to adapt the pattern though, okay? Mama got some big hands, all right? I actually had to figure out the multiple and increase it to make it work for my hands. But once I did, I am pleased as punch. I've never made fingerless gloves before. Yes, I'm probably gonna do some more during the crochet along we're gonna have with Neva at Manic Mama Musings because it's gonna be an 80s theme and this really screams 80s, especially in a color that I have over here. Oh yeah, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Anyhow, I couldn't just have those by themselves. I have been drooling over the divine hat forever. Look, I made one. Ah! Well, I didn't just make one. Um, I made two. <laughs> this one is in camo. So you really can't see the stitches that much because of that weird camo pattern. But yes, I'm finally getting down to the end of that camo skein. But, uh, this is for somebody who knows who he is. He got the last camo hat. He's going to get this camo hat and uh, he will enjoy it because it's camo and he was an army boy. All right. Those said, there's some more yarny stuff. I feel like I'm missing something and I'm going to pause because I forgot to gather in my hot little hands what I wanted to show you next. Okay. I have an armful of yarn and I have multiples of each one. So there's that. Um, this is yarn that I have pulled from my stash. Yeah, girls already got a stash. I'll live in crochet in this year. Um, for Lisa Ladybird Loves, pick and mix cow that's coming up. And what I have decided to do is have this is my main color. Yes, uh, of, it's a stripey. It's Super Saver Stripes, but it has some really nice colors in it that I like. And I have several of these still. So that will be my, quote, main color. And I have this big honkin' Super Saver that I got. I actually got this at Goodwill. That's what kind of ended up solidifying my color choices because I went, wow, now I have a total of four that I can use. This very beigey color. Yeah, I'm not one for beige, but it's a nice neutral Oh, what in the blast is this one called? It's called Aaron. Okay. It's Super Saver. But since it's not that dark of a color, it's not as rough as some of the others. What I found was Super Savers. Okay. And now the other three colors. Because you need four switchable colors and then the main color. My other colors are these. Very fall. Very autumnal. Um, this one is a Super Saver. It's, yeah, it's kind of rough. It's called Coffee but it is a nice deep rich brown. These two are big twist. Get these at Joanne. I love these colors. Oh, I've been waiting for something to use this on because it's very, very nice. The big twist is way softer than the super saver, by the way. It's all hundred percent acrylic. So it's, it's all that. This one is called burnt orange and this one is called mustard. So, yeah, I finally chose my yarns. Now I'm just waiting for the beginning of October so that uh, we can start this thing. I'm really excited. It's going to be a fun, fun cow. I'm going to have to pause for a second because i got to move this so I can reach the next thing. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to take a picture of the mess that is up on my bed when I'm done recording because I toss stuff over there. I can put all that crap away. Hello. Um, 
Moving on to acquisitions. I don't actually have any quote Yarny acquisitions this week. I know that's weird, right? But, but I do have a couple of things that I got because it was introduced to me by um, Natalie's Closet. She does that little small business focus and these are so cool. Postcards, y'all. And yes, there's holographic stuff in there. Yes, that is a cassette tape for you young folks. Get off my lawn. Yeah. Um, also, look. Oh my gosh. The stickers. Love them. And these stickers. They're all very super cute. And they these all come from Pip stickers. Yeah. She had focused on them because they had this holographic stuff, which if you ever watched Natalie's Closet, you know that Natalie is so into holographic stuff. Yeah, but I love these. I went looking for postcards. I found some. So uh, expect to see some postcards in the mail, some of y'all, and maybe not even these yet because girl's been busy, okay? I'm just going to tell you that. Other acquisitions went to Cracker Barrel. I know, that seems like a weird place for me to go. I'm actually local to a Cracker Barrel. But their merchandise area it has so much cool stuff and so much fun stuff. And right now, if you go and if you have a Cracker Barrel near you, they've got Halloween stuff up, they've got Thanksgiving stuff up, and they've got Christmas stuff up. They are a multi-holiday going on right now. And all the pretties and sparklies that they always have. And yes, a lot of it's expensive, but you know your girl's cheap, okay? First off, Got to show you some popcorn that I got off the clearance rack. This ended up being $2. Yes, this is sweet popcorn. Yeah, this is not going to go to a taste uh, Tuesday review. This is just going to be eaten by this fat chick and probably her hubby. Okay. Now, some other stuff that I got from there. Oh, this is the hubby's. And it got warm out in the car. Pecan log. These are actually really, really good. Okay. I got some candies that I will probably be trying out for Tuesday reviews. I'm going to see where they're from and see if they fall into my snacks around the world thing. If not, they may fall into the just American snacks thing, which is worth it. Got tart and tiny. So you know me. I love the sour. And I love these. They're not that sour. They say they're extra sour. Cry baby tears. Extra sour candy. My mouth is watering just thinking about them. Yes. Like I said, me tossing stuff on the bed. That's where it's all going. These I will probably not toss to the bed. You see me unwrapping something. Look, look. Yes, they are all skulls and it looks like they're kind of all black and white, right? But when you put hot liquids in it, it's heat reactive and it gets colorful. I cannot wait to use this for my coffee in the mornings. This is awesome, but it has to be hand washed, not dishwasher washed, because the harsh chemicals will, you know, take off the stuff on the outside. But hey, isn't that super flippin' cute? And there is more that is super flippin' cute down in this bag. Oh, by the way, that was, I think, $9. Yeah, that was a little higher than I would normally pay. But I made up for it for this, by this other stuff that was hella cheap. These were just 99 cents a piece, okay? Let me arrange them so that I can show them to you in the proper pairs. Technically, they're salt and pepper shakers. These will probably never see salt and pepper. These will probably just be decorations on my shelf because I adore them. <gasps> Look. Look. Oh my gosh, isn't that just so cute? Yes, I love sugar skulls, the carabetas. I mean, I love Halloween. This is Halloween season. Ah, these will go perfectly with the uh, big skull shirt that I have and the skull shorts. That I'm just saying, they are not going to be out of place with me. But wait, there's more. There's these two. Oh my gosh. If that's not the most precious flipping thing right there, okay? Yes, I had to have them. And for as expensive as most of the stuff is there, these little suckers were 99 cents each. I'm glad I took a look. I figured they'd be four or $5 and I wouldn't want to buy, you know, sets of them. But no, 99 cents each. And oh, 
They're absolutely flipping precious. Okay. And one just tried to leap to the floor. Don't even do that. Luckily, it landed on something very soft. Um, wow. That has been a lot. And speaking of a lot, we have to go to Home Depot to get the right part for the water heater. So that's a thing. So I'm going to wind it down here. I do want to tell you about some shout outs. Okay. Listed down below, of course, is going to be Natalie's closet because she pointed me in the direction of that stuff from Pip Stickers because it's so cute. Oh my God. Oh, the stickers that they have that she's really awesome. The one that does that. Um, also, just to let you know, the bracelets are by uh, Be Yourself with Jane. Miss Jane, I'm still looking for videos from you. She really should put some up because these are absolutely adorable. The sweater, the top I made from a bag of day pattern for the uh, bottle along. The bottle along links are below as well, including a playlist. I, I do have a playlist on my channel of bottle along stuff that I probably made and also the bottle along videos that I found because I like having it kind of all together. Just to let you know about that. Now, as far as a non Yarny shout out of the day, I do have one more thing that I have acquired. I need to pause and get it so I can show it to you. I have mentioned before that mental health and discussions of mental health are very important to me and that I um, am really into other mental health channels, including this one, Katie Morton. Katie Morton is a licensed marital and family therapist. Uh, she's, you know, college educated, all that stuff. She has several, she has a couple of books now. Her latest book just came out. I had pre-ordered it. It just came in the mail. It is called Traumatized and it has to do with PTSD, emotional stress, trauma in your life. Um, I haven't read it yet. Like I said, it just came in the mail. Feels nice. Actual honest to goodness book. And I am looking forward to reading it, by the way. That is Katie Morton. Yes. Um, check her out. If you're interested in anything to do with mental health, she presents it in a way that is easy to understand, but still accurate and helpful. She's not going to do therapy for you, but she's going to give you a lot of knowledge and a place to start if you need that. And I really like that. Traumatized. Katie Morton. I'll have Katie Morton's link down below. And uh, if you're so inclined, you can pick up her book. Thank you for coming by. It has been a wild week. Just wrapping up this wild week with my vloggy thing. Don't forget that I do have um, tutorials. Good grief. I couldn't even think of a word. Crochet from the beginning. And yes, we started off with a slip knot. We're going to chaining. I mean, literally step-by-step -step small things. Um, Hey, we all started somewhere and even after I was crocheting for a few months, I still had no idea how to do a proper slip knot. So sometimes we just miss stuff. But anyways, those are coming out on Fridays. Tuesday reviews, of course, come out on Tuesdays. There's the, the other random video that may come out here or there. I did have a mini torrid haul this past week because yeah, your girl went shopping and probably shouldn't have, but that's another story altogether. Um, Thank you. Thank you for being here. Check out the description. You never know what you're going to find in there. And um, I will definitely see you next time. See you through the week and see you on the YouTube streets. Bye.